Hello everyone! My name is Elizabeth Giles with Stampin' Unicorns and today I'm going to show you card number five using the Christmas Scotty Bundle. This bundle can be found in the Stampin' Up! mini catalog the July through December 2022. It is in a bundle so when you purchase the stamp set and the punch you do receive 10% off and you can see all of these cute cards here. So this is card number five in this series. Um, so you definitely should check out the other five videos I have if you haven't seen them yet. So let's get started. This is a fancy fold card and we are going to be making this card right here. And it's kind of a, a step, right? A step card. Um, so it's got all three of the doggies on there and just lots of different things. So let's get started. I have my supplies already cut out for this and some things even already die cut. So hopefully we'll go through them. I can give you um, the approximate sizes for everything so um, you can get that all docketed. Docket. So. First we have our card base. So this is going to be a four and a fourth by 11, scored in half at five and a half. So we're going to go ahead and just burnish that real good on both sides. And this can actually just get set aside. Our next piece is this awesome piece here. So this piece is going to be three, let's see, yes, three and seven eighths, and then it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten and a half inches long. And we're scored at two and a half and five. And then it's going to end up going like this. But first we need to stamp on this piece. So I like to try and complete all of my stamping and then kind of do assembly. This color is Parakeet Party. It is one of our current ink colors. Love it so much. The stamp, so all the stamps for this card are going to be out of the Christmas Scotty and this is just like it looks like an Afghan is kind of what it makes me think of. So let's go ahead and tap lightly. Now some of this is going to get covered up so if you don't stamp it exactly perfect, hey that's okay. That's okay. We're just going to make sure to add a little bit to each of the areas. And so that looks just perfectly fine. If you don't stamp it okay, you can always flip it over and use this side because we're not going to see that side anyhow. All right, so that is going to be this layered piece, right? Now let's go ahead and get our doggies um, all stamped and um, a few of the other things. So. Um, the doggies, we are just going to stamp right on this piece. It's just a quarter sheet of paper. And I have them lined up on my Stamparatus. I like using this tool when I'm stamping these very solid images. Just in case I don't get a good impression, I can stamp it again. So let's go ahead and line this up. And see, will those work? Oh, no. Nope. That's got to go up over here. All right, so we're going to use Memento Tuxedo Black ink and get these doggies good and covered. Oh, there we go. So ink them up really well. If you are just using your stamps brand new, you might want to wash them first. The photopolymer has kind of a little bit of a residue on there. So just in case. Boom, boom. Oh, I need to ink those up again. I'm going to try this other ink pad. Maybe. Oh, yeah. That's a little juicier. But don't worry. Since we're using the Stamparatus, I can ink them again to get darker images. These guys look pretty cute too, though, that way. All right, let's see what we get. Oh yes, those look fabulous. So now we're going to go ahead, close that up, and we are going to stamp the bows. 
So this stamp set come with numerous bows. I'm not going to stamp a bow on this guy because um, he's just going to get punched out. So we don't want to add a bow. So we're just going to add a couple small bows. Where's the other small bow? Here it is. When I do classes, so this was for my bingo class, I try and use every single stamp in there. And now we're just going to take a marker and fill in the collar. It's a lot easier than trying to line up the stamp. There we go. So there's our doggies, our Scotties. And the bottom one here we're going to go ahead and punch out. Boom. And the other two, unfortunately, are going to have to get fussy cutted. Fussy cutted. And if I would have thought about it, I could have definitely had this done ahead of time because, you know, magic of videos. But it won't take me very long to cut these out. And we'll just go from there. So, Scotty Dogs. Um, this card was the final card in this series. So if you haven't checked out the other four videos, make sure to check those out. I kind of started with the easiest cards first and then went up from there. If you don't have the Scotty Dogs on your list, make sure to order it. I know the um, punch was on back order um, and we just got a bunch more in. Punches are a favorite. They're easy to use, quick. Kids can easily use them. Check that out. All right. Almost done with the first doggy. After we do this, we are going to stamp the sentiment on our green parakeet party. And we are also going to stamp the inside of our card. The only thing that is trickier than doing your stamping and cutting is to make sure that your card is orientated the correct way. This fancy fold is super cute and you can really showcase um, quite a few neat other. I have an alternate card here which is what I used for determining the layout of this card. And it had a butterfly on it and some flowers. So you can really use this to kind of layer your scenery as well, which you will kind of see we did. I did use a few other products from the current celebration catalog and also um, an embossing folder from the current mini catalog as well. So you can see how these things kind of tie together. And of course, the designer series paper I'll show you in a moment is actually the host paper that you can get for free when you place an order that's at least $150. Um, you get host dollars. If you host a party, of course, where you and your friends order, then you would qualify for that as well. So here's our three Scotties. So these are the three different types of Scotties you get in that stamp set. So let's set you off. We do not need the white. And next we're going to stamp our presents. So I just have a piece of white paper here. Um, I think it's like an inch wide and then it's four inches long. And there are two really small pieces. So here they are, and these are going to form our presents. Oh, and I didn't tell you, we're using Bermuda Bay ink. We're just gonna go along this, and we're, we're literally stamping. Like, if you guys are old enough to know what like the pause button looks like on a VCR or a remote or anything like that, that's what this kind of makes me think of, is the pause button. But we're just gonna stamp these all sort of kitty wampus here. Boom. And now we're going to stamp the bows around the packages. So that was the packages. And now we're doing the bows. And it's super easy. Like it looks like it'll take a long time, but it's, 
it really isn't. One of the things you want to make sure is that your stamp is nice and juicy because then you can just tap it and go, tap it and go, tap it. Super duper easy. I think I just need a bow at the end there. All right, and then this piece we're just ripping off the top. So if it's a little wider or whatever, it doesn't really matter because you're just ripping it so that you get that line of presence. All right, now let's stamp our saying. So this is um, three-fourths of an inch, and it is one, two, almost three inches long. We're going to stamp in the memento. I'm telling you, we got a lot of stamping on this one. So this scene is May Your Days Be Furry and Bright. We're going to kind of stamp it off to this side because we're going to angle the other side. That looks great. And then on the inside of the card, we had a Merry Christmas and a Wolf. I'm telling you, I like to get all my stamping done out of the way. So Merry Christmas is kind of right in the middle. And then a woof is over here. Perfect. And that should be the rest of our stamping. We are going to need the ink just to add a little bit. Now on the inside of the card, we're just going to put this puppy there right away because we got the inside of the card. So we're just, we're just going to do that right away. Oops. I haven't used my type in a while. There we go. Woof, woof. So inside of the card, all complete. Easy peasy. All right, now let's start assembling this guy here. So the um, designer series paper I'm adding is this piece here. If you are not familiar with this host set, it is the Celebrate Everything designer series paper. You get 48 sheets, and this isn't even all of them. Look at that, right? So you get 12 different designs, four pages of each, and it's only $18. So if you place a $150 order, you're gonna get 10% free, and it, you can do the $18. So that's really awesome. And right now, if you place a $150 order, you will also get celebration benefits. So it's a super great time to get all of these deals. All right, let's glue this down. So this is going to be three and seven, sorry, three and three fours, 3.75 times five and a half, I believe. No, five and a fourth. So sorry about the confusion on the, um, the sizes. I thought I had them wrote down, but apparently not. So let's just get this guy in our punch as well. If you guys do not have this punch, I use it all the time. It's just a banner punch, and you can do three different sizes. You can do more than that, but that's just the pretty standard. This guy's gonna get some dimensionals and popped up in the corner there. Got a piece of hair sticking to my dimensional. Look at that, dimensional on a string. And that's just gonna go up in the corner. Boom, boom, boom. I know, it looks like it's gonna be a lot of green right now, but remember, this is going to go on our card base. And we're going to add one of these black matte dots. Let's just grab a bigger one here. Boom. Just one, that's all we need. Just a little something, something. All right, now let's continue to add our layers here. So on the card here, you can see it, it has a black piece here and then these awesome trees. Now the trees, unfortunately, are currently sold out for the celebration, but you could absolutely put in a different die um, that you have. There's lots of trees that Stampin' Up! has, so don't be afraid to utilize them. This piece is a black piece of cardstock that I embossed 
with the embossing folder from the mini catalog. Let me find that real quick. I feel like the embossing folders are kind of overlooked at times. So it is the Winter Wonderland 3D embossing folder. So you can see how cute that is. And it coordinates very lovely with this paper. Now the other pieces we have are three trees. So we have a big tree, two smaller trees, and then the backgrounds pieces for those trees. So this was the tree lot dies. The stamp set is in the mini catalog and you can still purchase the stamp set, but the dies were part of the celebration offering and um, they did sell out rather quickly. You could stamp the, um, you could stamp from there. You could stamp those trees and just cut them out as well. So don't be, de don't be um, shy about changing it up a little bit. Well, you don't have to put any trees on at all. I just like the 3D kind of look of them. So to add a little bit more dimension to the trees, we are going to just use a sponge dabber and a little ink. And we're just going to go over the backs of the trees so that when the overlay goes on, it'll just stand out just a smidge more. <laughs> I love using non-traditional colors on my Christmas cards. And especially with these doggies, this is definitely a non-traditional card. All right, let's glue those together. And if you wanted, you could run these through and um, have the adhesive on the back. And that's a really cool thing to do as well. Right here, we're just gonna add a smidge of glue. Smidge. Whoa, stickiness. And the last one. Super easy. I can't wait for these doggies. I, I saw them at first, I'm like, no, I'm not gonna get that set. And then, when I decided to do another bingo, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do this set for the bingo. And that determined that yes, I was going to get this set. Come on, get back on there. My fingers are super, boom. All right, so while those give a little bit time, cause I don't wanna like stick them on when they're still wet, we're going to go ahead and complete this part down here. So the first thing we're going to put on this, the presents. So add a little tape. And the presents just kind of go along the bottom. And then we're gonna add a little bit of ribbon around there to you guys. If you do not have this gingham ribbon, it is amazing. You can color the white spots whatever colors you want so it coordinates with pretty much anything. Here we're just keeping it black and white to kind of bring out our puppies and to bring out the designer series paper, we're just gonna tie it in a knot. Perfect. Just snip the ends at an angle. Perfect. All right. Now we gave our trees enough time to dry. That one's gonna get popped up these two are gonna go straight down. Boom, boom, boom. And tape. All right, so I'm kind of putting, I'm not like pushing them down yet because I gotta wait and see where my big guy goes. Okay. Mm 
There we are. Now let's attach this and then we're gonna attach our doggies last. Because those will be done with dimensionals. So this card is super quick, super easy. You can add layers, it gives it dimension, and I like the fact that it stands up really nice as well. So lastly, some dimensionals on our doggies. We got that piece just hanging out there. Hope I want that a little lower because he kind of sticks up a little bit. Okay. So that guy sticks up over the top. This guy goes a little further down. All right, there's our card. See how nicely it sits? So for um, anyone who loves to display cards, I know my mother-in-law, whenever I give her a card, she always has it on display for quite some time. So this would sit really nice, won't fall over, anything like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this awesome card. And make sure, if you haven't already, to check out the other four videos. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.